Women play a crucial role in our local economy. Whether in the formal or informal sectors, their contributions are essential. Many women across the country are primary breadwinners and often juggle work with household duties. This presents a significant challenge for them. Why we, we have so many women struggling with economic empowerment in Solomon Island or even in Honiar is the fact, uh, first of all, have to do with them, not cultural norms, blame me, yeah? because, uh, because of our gender roles. Women that places in the home, look, looking after the home, providing food, providing everything where home him need him, so when money him not available for kakai for the beginning of him, she has to go out and do something about it. And the second one is our education and our skill gaps. Yeah? We've got um, a lot of um, research where him confirmed that one. Him tell him that a lot of our women, when they go up to secondary, they cannot progress beyond the level of tertiary. Whereas okay, the male counterparts, they're able to progress. But uh, women, or the Kasim Lode, either okay, the less for school, maybe or get married no ma and they come back more in St. Louis for a cycle of struggle. Yeah. Number three would be, um, like you may uh, poor infrastructure, yeah? like for, for someone in the province, a lady in the province to actually get the market blame to Honiara, it costs a lot of money yeah? just to board the ship, take them cargo blame to Honiara and Selem. Yeah? Every Selem, no man go of freight and fear blame for come yeah? And then living in Honiara is very expensive. So him not viable for her to actually come all the way from the province to come to Honiara and then sell her goods. Then perhaps not able for to come back anything for her family and children no more, or put aside some money for their school fees. Some women seek ways to gain skills and knowledge to earn money, like Krista, a 25-year-old from Isabel province. Before me come work and lawyers, me start school Tikubako primary school, because I'm grade six. And then, this past school, um, secondary school, because I'm form three. And then, I said, no got many school fees, so I stay for two years long. I find him school fee. After, I got him a school fee below me. Then, I go to school RTC for three years. After, I come come up to town for finding place for practical for waka also. In addition to funded training programs, some women like Rose Korinihona, who owns the label Island Hero, have been offering training for women and girls for quite some time. One for something me look him na or some a skill, yeah? Time me garem na skill inside lo you me, me look him him easier than time you garem employment. So, him na reason why me choose him na what me do him this time, yeah? So, uh, me no look lo women alone, but me lo look too lo other youths one day, but other become a mother, where other look after my family. And then even me go to the extent of uh, thinking of the uh, um, next generation, other young ones, yeah, to beginning lo 9 to 15, yeah? So, because of that one, uh, me, me doing now or the setups where me doing yeah. Recent reports indicate a global economic downturn that has affected incomes across many businesses, including those in the country. Contributing factors include the COVID-19 pandemic, the war in Ukraine, and the domestic disruptions such as the 2021 riots, all of which have influenced the current economic climate. How me compare them? Compare them to other years, yeah. I say market them good, satisfy white thing, but this time, no more. I look at them different this year, but they're tough to mass, yeah. I say complain no narakasin two years, I say market. I am no more selling. It's very hard. Because sometimes you sit down with the market, no, anyone by me. But sometimes I'm lucky. I order lemon or cake blue by finish. I'm looking big slang. This time I'm flow. If I'm flow, then I'm in small. Time I go pay the market, I get the things that I buy, I'm expensive. Even though it's stores too. I get prices here, I'm high, I'm double up now. 
mi fotte ke musem kain 200 dollar lo wande ta mi ugo pe bai ko ta market ya usem 10 dollar no ma o usem no ma bai profit ti mi fa sa teke this is the reality for many women who persistently strive to achieve their goals for the benefit of their children and families. Sometimes me fall find him that he me no fast yeah. Go go things blown me fall sometimes me fall go back with him. Then me fall all same me fall run loose no more. So all same some for something all same water for water picking in it. He no save catch him water amount where me fall save market him all over. While policies and national strategic frameworks have been established, they have yet to be effectively implemented. At the moment we have this economic empowerment strategy for women, yeah? but it's, to me it's far-fetched because it's up here and the women are struggling up down here. There's a big, huge gap between the strategy itself and implementing it yeah? so that the women down here on the grassroots level can feel the effect of the uh, economic strategy, because the economic strategy is meant to provide that enabling environment you know, that women can uh, can thrive with their informal sector businesses. Yeah? Um, the access to market, which means that infrastructure we need for improving access to health, uh, access to education. Yeah. Many women, like Krista, show incredible determination but haven't had the chance to share their stories. Their strength and hard work are crucial to our communities and economy. It is important for the government to offer support and incentives helping women and girls get the resources and opportunities they need to make an even greater impact in society. Anadoro, Tavoli News. Thank you, Anna. Anna is our news intern here at Tavoli News.